Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to machine learning and AI tutorials. In this video tutorial we are going to explain how to install and run locally one very interesting model which seems to outperform distilled versions of DeepSeq R1. The name of this model is OpenThinker. OpenThinker is a family of fine-tuned models from Quant 2.5 and by using OpenThought's dataset. I'm going to talk about this dataset and it's very important to understand the datasets that are used to fine-tune the model such that we can better understand the performance and the purpose of models. A lot of users simply download the model and they expect that the model will solve all sorts of problems. That's not true. The models are fine-tuned and designed for particular problems. And according to the authors of OpenThinker, it seems that this model surpasses DeepSeq distillation models on some benchmarks. So let's talk about the data set. Namely, I opened the data set from the GitHub website and over here I can see sample problems. Namely, you will see around 120 or 115,000 of problems over here and here is one problem. So let's read what is the problem about. You can see, for example, here, a brunette, redhead, and a blonde are stranded in an island. They find a lamp and robbed it. A genie appeared. And you can see that this is a simple logical problem asking people to solve this particular puzzle. So let's see, for example, this problem. He just needed a few things from the shopping center, but he could hardly get down an ASL. It was so packed with what? And you can see another puzzle and you can see other puzzle over here etc and then if you go at the beginning of a data set you'll see a bunch of coding problems for example generate an executable python function generated from the given prompt etc so this problem is fine-tuned to solve puzzles coding problems and maybe some other problem problems that you might encounter in coding practice or in engineering practice or simple puzzle problems. Okay, so here is a brief strategy for downloading, installing and running this model locally. First of all, we are going to install OLAMA, then we are going to download the model and then we are going to run the model in a graphics user interface generated by WebUI. Why I like WebUI? Well, I like WebUI since it can automatically interpret equations and it can nicely print them. That is, inside of WebUI, you have a latex interpreter and the equations will be shown nicely on the computer screen. By the end of this tutorial, you will learn how to run OpenThinker in this graphics user interface where all the equations are nicely generated. For example, over here you can ask a question how to solve an equation and then you can put something like this, sine, let's do like this, sine x or 2 times x plus x squared is equal to 0 and you can see how the response will be generated you will see how the equations are nicely formulated note over here that i'm running this in open web ui and over here you can run both models okay okay so let's start it with installation first of all go to the olama website and click on download to download the Olama model, then click on Windows for your operating system and click on download for Windows. And the file will be downloaded. After the file is downloaded, you just need to double click on the file and the install installation will start. The installation is straightforward. After the installation file is downloaded, double click on the file and wait for a second until the installation menu appears. So let's just wait and then click on install and Olama will be automatically installed on your computer. After Olama is installed, click over here and you should see this cute Olama icon. Another strategy for verifying Olama installation is to click here, search for command prompt, open a command prompt and over here type Olama. And if Olama is installed, you should see this general reply let's type olama list to see models of course we don't have anything 
on our system since we just installed Olama. The next step is to download the model. To download the model, simply go to the Olama website and over here search for Open Thinker. Here it is. Click here and over here you have two versions. You have the smaller model and you have the larger model. Let's download both of the models. However, if you want to just test the model, start with the smaller model and then later on you can try the larger model. In my case, I'm having NVIDIA 3090 GPU and I can run both of these models locally. So let's start with the smaller model, then copy this, then go to the terminal and in the terminal window type this. However, don't type run over here, change run to pool and press enter and the smaller model will be downloaded. It's going to take maybe two minutes to download the model. Consequently, be patient. Next, if you want to download the larger model, click here, expand, click on the larger model, copy this, then again go to the command prompt and then over here type Olama, then type pool and the model and the model will be downloaded. Okay, before we test the models in a web UI graphics user interface, let's test them manually in the terminal. First of all, type Olama list to see the models. Over here you can see that I downloaded both models. So let me run the first model. Type Olama run, then paste the model name, bang, and wait until the model is loaded. And let's ask a question, who are you? And let's see the answer. Let's see. So you see the answer it is. Of course, this model has a special prompt that will also have a different way of pronouncing or solving problems, etc. Okay, so you can see a bunch of things over here and the answer. So let's see. Okay, let's tackle the question, who are you? Hmm, wait, this seems like a straightforward question, but maybe there's more depth here. Okay, so what, you, what you're seeing here is that the prompt is specially designed and there are instructions to this model to answer in a particular way. So you see personal identity, metaphysical, humorous or paradoxical interpretation. So this is very, very nice. Later on in the future video tutorials, I will show you how to adjust the prompt. So let's ask this, how to solve a quadratic equation and let's test, for example, with this equation and let's see what happens. And here's the answer. So the model works. Okay, so this is the first model. You can see that it's super fast and it's giving you the solution. Later on in Web UI, we are going to get much nicer representation of this solution. Okay, so let me let me now uh, con press Control C, Control D to exit the model. So let's try the second model. So again, let's type Olama list and then let's type Olama run and let's run the second model. That is this model over here. And let's see how long will it take for this model to open. Let me start the task manager and let me see the performance of my GPU. Okay, you see what's happening. You can see that my GPU memory is almost full, which means that GPU is working. And that's the benefit of using Olama. Namely, with Olama, you can easily set up your GPU and the model can use your GPU. Let's ask a question, who are you again? And bang. Let's see how fast is the answer. This is really nice. The answer is being generated really quickly. Even for this 32 billion parameter model, which is really amazing. And you can see how much my GPU resources are used. Here they are. Good. Let's close this and let's continue. Press Ctrl D to exit the model. The next step is to teach you how to start the model in a nice graphics user interface. For that purpose, we are going to use Open Web UI. First of all, let's go to the root C drive and verify your Python version by typing this. You can see that I'm using Python 3.12.8 and my suggestion is to use this Python version. Don't use Python 3.13 since I noticed that Python 3.13 has some issues with PyTorch and with some CUDA 
drivers. Okay, so let's create a new folder called test web UI. Let's navigate to that folder. And over here, let's create a Python virtual environment. We can do it like this. And then let's activate this Python virtual environment. Let's just wait until this command completes. And now you can see that the Python virtual environment is active. Simply then install open web UI by running this command and now wait. It's going to take a while to install open web UI, but this is the only command you need to perform. And then after this command, simply type open open dash web UI serve. That is, you need to execute this command and I will show you how to run the model. After installation is completed, you just need to type this open dash web UI serve and this thing will be generated and you will see the message that open web UI is running on this address. To start this address, simply press control, click and the address will be open in your web browser or you can directly go to the web browser. You can click here, you can paste and here's the open web UI. Click to get started. Over here, you can fill in your name. You don't need to enter your real name and your real email address since you're running everything locally. However, let's just enter something and create administrator account. Okay, let's go. And over here, you will see that the model is immediately recognized. Then over here, you can select a smaller model and let's ask a question how to solve a quadratic equation and let's type equation plus 3x is equal to 0 and let's see over here and here it is you can see how the equations are nicely written and this program works like a charm okay that's all for today i hope that you like this video if you like the videos i'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial